To book a private reading, email me at tarakite at hotmail.com. Thanks. Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your November 2016 Tarotscope. And make sure to check for your moon sign and your rising sign as well. All right. And for the main focus, you've got the Knight of Pentacles. And I also pulled some cards from the Messenger Oracle deck by Raven Fillin, and you got Share Your Thoughts. All right, and before I pulled your cards, I just got this sense that, you know, you're really wanting to accomplish your goals. I just feel like you're really wanting to get some things done. You know, I feel like some of you are getting some errands done. Um, but yeah, it just seems like you have a to-do list and you're getting things done. And I feel like you're also, you know, really wanting to follow your dreams, you know. I feel like there's this feeling of, you know, you know, you're going for the gold, you know. You really want to accomplish something, you know. You have this, like, desired outcome. And I feel like you are really wanting to, you know, climb that mountain. And I feel like you have, like, a lot of will power and you're really you know you're taking action you're really going for your goals you know you're really wanting to accomplish some things you know you're really wanting to you know accomplish your dreams all right and for some of you I feel like you're dressing up for a nice event you know this might be a nice dinner or something like that um and for others of you I feel like you're really like this month, you're really looking at things in a new angle, like a new, I feel like you're getting this new perspective, and I feel like you're, you know, really looking at all of your options this month, you're not just, you know, settling, you know, I just feel like you're really looking at all of your options and just seeing, you know, what's out there, you know, you're really doing your research and, you know, you're just really wanting to see what all of your options are. All right, and with the Knight of Pentacles, you know, the Knight of Pentacles can indicate, you know, somebody who's, you know, very patient, and they want to do a good job on something, you know, they're going to give it their, you know, 100% all, and I feel like that's what you're doing this month, you know, I feel like, you know, some of you, you know, this may be with something creative, um, but with whatever this is, I just feel like you're giving your 100% all into something, and you're doing, like, a good job on it, and you're really paying attention to the details, you know, it's like, you know, painting a picture, you know, I just feel like you're taking your time with it, you know, and you're really looking at it, and seeing if you want to make changes to it, and and then doing that, or, you know, taking your time editing, editing a book, I just feel like you're really paying attention to the details, and you're really wanting to do a good job on things. And I do feel like you are, you know, very patient this month. I feel like you're being very patient with yourself, and you're also being patient with others as well. I feel like you are wanting to climb up that mountain, but you're, you know, you're taking your time climbing up the mountain, you know. You're, I just feel like you really want to make sure that, you know, something is the best it can be. All right. And also, you know, I do feel like you're being sensible this month. You know, the Knight of Pentacles can indicate, you know, a very down-to-earth person. You know, this tends to be like an earth sign. Um, but yeah, it can indicate somebody who's very down-to-earth. And I also saw an image of a turtle for you before I pulled these cards. And so, I feel like you are, you know, really grounded this month. Um, you know, I just feel like you're taking things one step at a time. And... I feel like, yeah, you're just, I just feel like you're being very sensible, being realistic about things, you know, you're being realistic about how much time maybe something is going to take you, um, I just feel like there's a sense of you being realistic and sensible, I just feel like you have a good head on your shoulders, you know, you're being very sensible, you know, you have, you know, common sense here, um, and with this share your thoughts card, I feel like it's so important for you to really, 
you know, get your ideas out there. You know, I feel like networking communication is important for you. And I feel like it's so important for you to, you know, share your gifts with the world. You know, you're so talented. You're so amazing, Cancer. You know, I just feel like it's time for you to, you know, share your gifts. You know, share what you know. I just feel like some of you are underestimating your abilities. And... You know, you're, you're amazing. You know, you're ready. You know, you're ready to go for your dreams. You know, you're already ready to do whatever it is you want to do. You know, you don't need anybody else's approval. You know, you don't need any validation. All you need is, you know, all that matters is what you think. And, you know, I just feel like you're already ready and it's time for you to move forward. You know, just go for it. You know, and, and the best way is learning by ex experiencing things, you know. You can read all you want about, you know, knowing how to ride a bike, but you're not going to know how to ride a bike until you actually go out there and do it. And so I feel like it is important for you to go out there and, you know, get some experience and to just go out there and do it, to just go out there and try, um, you know, and... And don't be afraid that you don't have enough experience or, you know, don't think, oh, I need this degree, I need to do this, you know. I just feel like, you know, don't let anything hold you back. You're already ready, you know. It, it, just go for it, you know. For example, let's say, you know, you're trying to get an art degree. You know, and I think that's good, you know, that's good that you're going for that art degree, but don't think you can't already, you know, teach people now. You know, I feel like you're already talented, you know. Maybe put some videos up on YouTube, you know, t where, you know, teach people how to paint or, you know, draw, you know, share some videos on YouTube. Or, you know, there's platforms online where you can teach people. Um, you know, you can make videos teaching people how to do you know, certain things like art or cooking, you know, whatever skill you have, you can make videos teaching that, and, you know, you can get money from doing that, um, I think Udemy is one of them, um, but yeah, you, you can offer your services, and, you know, other people can pay you for your videos, um, but yeah, look up that, or just, you know, start a YouTube channel, or, you know, maybe put an advert on Craigslist or on the community bulletin board. Say, hey, I can, you know, tutor you how to paint. You know, maybe you could privately, you know, tutor people. Um, you know, I just feel like you're so talented. And I just feel like some of you are underestimating that talent. And, you know, I just feel like you're already, it's already time for you to, you know, go out there and just do it, you know, maybe you're good at cooking, you know, go out there and show people your skills, you know, maybe start a YouTube channel about cooking, um, but, you know, just get creative, just see what opportunities there are in the community, or, you know, maybe you really like music, you know, maybe see if there's any gigs that you could do, um, maybe you could teach private lessons, um, and I also feel like it's important for you to communicate with others, you know, maybe ask somebody you feel like is an, an expert in something, um, you know, maybe you have an, an art teacher already, um, you know, a professor or something, um, maybe ask them if there's any opportunities, um, for you to already do, you know, what it is that you want to do, you know. Or, you know, maybe your friends, you know, may, like, let's say you're into music. They may know a connection for you. They may know somebody else. Um, you know, they may know a gig that you could do. I just feel like it's, I guess what I'm trying to say is it's really important for you to get your adverts out there. You know, maybe on Craigslist or, you know, wherever. Um, just get your, I just feel like it's important for you to network, get yourself out there, you communicate with others, what your dreams are, and to actually just go out there and just do it, you know, just, you know, and get creative, um, you know, maybe you're good at jewelry, maybe you can sell your jewelry, um, you know, maybe you can have a garage sale, or, <laughs> and sell your jewelry, or, you know, put it on Craigslist, um, but yeah, the, the possibilities are, possibilities are endless, you know, just, you know, get creative. See how you can share 
what it is that you're good at. You know, share your gifts. And I also feel like it's important for you to communicate with others to see if they know about any opportunities as well. All right. And for the beginning of the month, you got the Five of Cups. And you also got this Need and Necessity card. All right. Um, I feel like this beginning of the month, it's so important for you to, to just look forward and to not dwell on the past and to also allow yourself the freedom to really, you know, follow your dreams. Um, before I pulled these cards, I saw an image of a horse, and to me, the horse is a symbol of freedom, and I feel like now it's time for you to, you know, move forward and don't look back, and allow yourself the freedom to really go for your dreams, really follow your dreams, because I feel like for some of you in the past, you have tried doing, you know, what was expected of you. I just feel like you know, maybe this was a family business and you were carrying on the family business. Or, you know, maybe somebody thought you would be good at doing this. Or, you know, it just it seems like somebody else had a certain dream for you. Um, but just in general, I just feel like some of you tried to go about something in a traditional way. Or you... You know, you're trying to please others. It's like you were trying to follow other people's expectations, and I feel like that did not work out for you in the past. Um, and I feel like now is time for you to just, to, just to move forward. You know, let that go. You know, let go whatever it is that didn't work out for you in the past. Just let it go, and I feel like it's important for you to just move forward. And I... I just feel like it's so important for you to just be yourself and to do what it is that you truly want to do. Um, and this card can indicate, you know, dwelling about the past. And I feel like it's so important for you to, to just let that go. You know, don't be too hard on yourself either. I feel like some of you are being too hard on yourself. Um, you know, just let go of what, you know, old past disapp disappointments, you know, just let go of what didn't work out in the past because, you know, you have a bright future. There is, you know, don't think your best days are behind you. They're not, you know, and don't think, oh, I should have done this. I shouldn't, you know, I sh should have done that. Um, or I shouldn't have done that. Or I should have done that. You know, just let it all go. Um, you know, there are good opportunities you know, your best day, I guess what I'm trying to say is, you know, there are, you know, some wonderful opportunities in front of you, and so don't think that you've, you know, ruined things, or that, you know, your best days are behind you, or you missed out on some opportunity because you haven't, you know, let that go, you have a lot, look at these two cups that are still standing, you have a lot going for you, you know, you're so talented, you're so amazing, and once again, it is time for you to share your gifts with the world, you know, I feel like you have a unique perspective, you have something you know, good to offer others that would be a benefit to other people. You know, you the world needs your, you know, unique perspective, you know. You know, no, no two artists are just alike. You know, everybody's got their own unique style, you know. And I feel like it's so important for you to, you know, share with the world what it is that you're passionate about. You know, you're an inspiration, and the world is, you know, other people are going to benefit from you sharing, you know, your own uniqueness, you know, your own perspective, you know, your own gifts. You have so much to offer. You know, you have so much, and that's what I want you to know. Um, and just, you know, I feel like it's time for you to just move forward and to just let some things go that happened in the past. Um, and with this need and necessity card, I feel like you are trying to bring, like, a sense of balance, you know, um, I feel like some of you are trying to relax, um, I feel like it's important for you to not sweat the small stuff, um, 
you know, I just feel like it's not necessary to sweat the small stuff, you know. For example, let's say you're trying to, you know, start your own business. Maybe you think you got to, you know, do this or this in order to get your business running. But maybe you don't. Maybe you don't need, you know, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is I feel like some of this is, like, unnecessary worry. It's like you're jumping too ahead of yourself here. I feel like it's important for you to really just take things in steps, you know, just focus, you know, sometimes, like, for example, if you're trying to start your own business, it can be overwhelming about all the stuff maybe you need to do before you can start your business, um, but, you know, just take it one step at a time, just focus on getting one thing at a time, because when we think about everything, it can, it can be overwhelming, and I feel like for some of you, you um, you know, you're just worried about, it's like, you know, maybe you think, I don't know, this is just an example here. Maybe you think that, I, this is hard to explain. It's like, I'm just going to use this as an example. Maybe you think, um, let's say you want to start, you want to attend this art class. Um... But then you find out that you got to buy all of these supplies and you're like, oh no, you know, I don't, I don't think I can fit that in my budget, but I really want to start this class. Um, but I feel like if you, you know, you just show up and you talk to the teacher, you know, she may have extra supplies for you. Um, you know, she may have the supplies in the class already and you know you don't need to worry about it um you know something like that i just feel like something seems like a big deal and it's it's not really you know what i mean um so try not to sweat the small stuff um you know i just feel like it's important for you to simplify some things and not to get too far ahead of yourself with things um and just take things one step at a time you know you know just take steps um, you know, try to make things more simple for yourself. Um, and, and it's like what I was saying before as well as this energy. Don't think before you start, you know, let's say you want to do music. You know, don't think you need more experience or you need to, you know, some degree or something like that. Um, and... This is just an example. It may not be music. It could be with anything else. Don't think you need more experience. I just feel like it's time you're ready. It's just time for you to gain some... It's time for you to get out there and experience your dreams. You know, experience what it's like. You know, just go out there and do it. That's what I'm saying. Don't let anything hold you back. Don't think that you're not good enough or something or you need more practice. Just go out there and do it. I feel like you're already ready. Um... Um, yeah, and I feel like also for the beginning of the month, it's important for you to really follow your own intuition. You know, just because somebody says something doesn't mean it's true. You know what I mean? Um, you know, just follow your own intuition about something. You know, just because somebody else has an opinion about something doesn't mean that's just, you know, it just, <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is like, it's not like this is right and this is just wrong. You know what I mean? I feel like it's important for you to keep an open mind. And also, you know, keep following your own heart. Just because somebody says, oh, you should do this or you should be doing that, you know, I just feel like it's important for you to, um, you know, you know what's best for you to do, you know. I just feel like it's important for you to follow your own advice instead of other people's, okay. Don't let other people's tell you how to think, you know, or tell you what to do. All right. You do what you feel is best, and you can have whatever opinion or think what you want to think. You know what I mean? All right. And for the middle of the month, you've got the Page of Swords the ten and the Temperance card. Both these cards wanted to pop out for you. And this change is unavoidable. This goes along with what I was saying. You know, I just feel like it's time for you to em embrace change. I just feel like some of you... I've been a little bit stuck in the past, or you think that you know, your best days are behind you, and that's not the case. There's so many good days in front of you. There's so you have so much going for you. You know, so many good opportunities in front of you. Um, I just feel like it's important for you to really 
embrace change. I know it can be, it, change can be hard, you know. I'm a cancer myself, you know. It can be, you know, once you get kind of comfortable in a certain situation or whatever, it, it, you know, it can be hard to get out of it. Um, you know, us cancers, we like to be comfortable, you know. Um, well, I just know myself personally. I, in the past, change was, you know, hard for me. Um, but, you know, I just feel like this change is good. It is going to get you to where you need to be. I just feel like these are, you know, try not to resist change because I feel like there are some upcoming changes in store for you. And these are, like, good changes. And I feel like it is, it would be important for you to really get out of your comfort zone. And I just love you, Cancer. You know, I'm a Cancer myself. You guys are so nurturing and, you know, caring and t intuitive and stuff. Um, and I feel like you intuitively know that change is at hand. Um, and it can be scary. Um, but what I'm saying, this is, this is a good change, alright? So just know this is a good change and... I feel like it's just so important for you to keep moving forward, to keep looking forward. Um, you know, try not to dwell on the past and, you know, try not to go back either. Like, you know, I just feel like some things have happened for a reason. You know, the, with this temperance card, this card can indicate, you know, destiny, you know, the angel of time. Um... I just feel like something just wasn't meant to be, you know. I just feel like it wouldn't be a good idea, you know, for example, to go back to that ex. You know, it, it just it didn't work out for a reason. Um, you know, it, and Spirit wants to bring you somebody even better suited for you. Um, you know, and maybe that job, you know, don't go back to that old job you don't like, you know. Um, you know, you quit or left that job for a reason, you know, and Spirit wants to bring you an even better job, you know, Spirit really wants you to live the life that you want to live, and, and if you feel guided to make necessary changes in your life, you know, I feel like it's important for you to do it, to embrace change, and to, you know, make those changes that you feel like you need to make. Um, I just feel like it's so important for you to keep going for your dreams, keep going for your goals. You know, you're an inspiration, Cancer. So, you know, you keep being that amazing person that you are. All right. And, yeah, with the temperance card, I just feel like it's important for you to be patient with things as well. And also, you know, I just feel like there is something is destiny, you know, something is meant to be for you, and I feel like you are on the right path, and, you know, this path is just meant to be, and also, I feel like you're being patient with other people, you know, at the Page of Swords, for some of you out there, I feel like there might be, you know, an argumentative person around you, or, you know, just somebody who always has to prove a point, um, or just, you know, annoying, <laughs> um, but I feel like you're being very patient within this month, you're not letting it get to you. And that's great. I just feel like you're taking the high road. And you're like, I don't have time for that. And just moving forward. Um, and also the Page of Swords can, you know, all the pages can indicate, you know, being the new person. You know, fresh start. You know, beginnings. So I do feel like there is this new beginning for you. And try not to resist it. And, you know, and it's okay to be, you gotta start somewhere. It's okay, you know, and don't think that you... Like, before you move forward with the following your dreams, you know, don't think you need all this experience because I feel like, you know, you are, you know, gaining that experience and you might be the new person or you might, this might be the first time, like, maybe this is the first gig you ever did, but you gotta start out somewhere, um, and I feel like some of you are really wanting to research and you're studying, you know, philosophize, you know, I don't know if I'm saying that word right, you know, philosophy, philosophizing, I think I said that word right, um, but yeah, philosophy is important for some of you out there, um, I just think you're thinking a lot, and, and yeah, just really deep thoughts for you this middle of the month, all right, and for the end of the month, you've got the full card, and time to reflect, and so yeah, towards the end of the month, I feel like you are embracing change, you are embracing the possibilities, 
and there's a zero in this card, and so I feel like you are... It's like you're understanding that the possibilities are endless for you, and I feel like there is this new chapter, this new start, and you're really excited to follow your dreams. You know, you're just going for things. You're not thinking too hard. You know, you're just going for it. Um... And for some of you, I just feel like you're really wanting to chill out this end of the month, you know, this time to reflect. I just feel like this is, like, you wanting to just take the time to meditate and, you know, it's like you're trying to unwind and relax as well. I feel like some of you are looking forward to the holiday season as well. Um, I feel like for some of you, you're being a good host, like, you're really wanting to and this might be because it's Thanksgiving time. You know, maybe you're hosting a Thanksgiving party. Um, I feel like some of you are, like, showing people around town. Um, or, you know, sh giving them a tour of your house. Um, but even if you don't live in the States and you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, you know, you just maybe, You know, maybe... S you're inviting somebody over to your house or having a dinner party and you're giving somebody a tour of the house or, you know, maybe relatives are coming over and you live in a new place and you're showing them around the town. It just seems like you're being a good host and showing people around for some of you out there. Um, or some of you just may be talking about a place to somebody else. Like maybe you used to live somewhere else, but you live somewhere new and you're telling them about your hometown. Um, all right, we'll have a wonderful month, Cancer, and go for your dreams. All right, much love and many blessings to you all. Bye.